Okay, in this video, I'm going to talk about an ideal fitness template. And I think sometimes people you know, will ask, you know, what should I be doing over a week to ensure that I'm getting fitter, getting stronger, getting healthier, and you know, getting what I need longer term out of my workouts? Because I think people can always think, you know, the more and more I do, or the harder and harder I work, or it's all about soreness, it's all about intensity, it's all about working to failure, it's all about burning calories. You know, that is important, but there's definitely a balance to it. There's definitely a methodology behind why you do it. And that's how we do our program at the Elite. So I'm going to explain why we do our program and, and what we do, and also why we, we put certain things in the workouts to ensure that it doesn't always, always make you healthier and stronger, but it makes you longer term over your whole life. It's something you can always use as a nice, um, I guess, a nice default to fall back on. So firstly, it's strength work. I always speak about strength work in these videos, but it's really, really important. I think people initially can always think straight away it's cardio. I want to lose weight, it's cardio. I want to change shape, it's cardio. The reality is it's important, but it's not the, isn't the main thing. You need to add strength work to your training. You know, pushing, pulling, lifting stuff overhead, pushing sleds, carrying stuff, all that sort of thing, squats, lunges, push-ups. There's a manner and manner of ways you can do, this, do strength work. There's, there's loads of ways you can add variety. There's loads of ways you can make it more enjoyable. You can, work, you can, you can do higher rep, heavier weights, lower rep, uh, light, lighter weights, all these sort of things. There are different ranges you can work between, but strength, essentially just lifting weights um, and doing weighted work two to three times a week is really, really important. Um, so we, o we always add a strength block into every workout here at DM Elite every day. And we also have like strength oriented sessions like build, like power hour, which are all weighted work. So build is like an upper body weighted session. Power hour is like higher, heavier compound lifts, you know, your bigger lifts and get the technique right and working the full body there. Um, so it's teaching you good principles, teaching you good habits, um, to get your body moving functionally, giving you better body awareness and improving your technique. Um, whether, you, whether you're in the gym or out of the gym or stay here longer term or not, it, it get, teaches you good principles and habits and strength work is very important for that. So that's why we always include that in our sessions every day. There's always this weighted element because strength work is really important. Next one is HIT. Now again, when it came, when something that became very big a few years ago, you know, with like the sanity stuff and, you know, Joel Wicks and jumping about and doing, doing mad stuff and T90X, all these sort of things. You know, HIT is important, HIT is good, but you can't do HIT every day. You know, if you try to do HIT every day, you'll, you'll, you'll burn out quickly, you'll, you'll injure yourself, you'll get bored, and your body just can't always withstand that, especially if you've got a stressful life, because HIT training is a stress in the body. So if you're already stressed and you're adding stress to your workouts, it might make you feel better initially, but doing it too much over a, over a long period of time, there'll be a point where your body just can't take anymore. And your body will tell you, mentally, your, with your sleep, with, your, with how your body feels, with injuries, all these sort of things. So that's what HIT is important. And you know, we use um, MyZone in the gym to measure heart rates through sessions so we can, we can gauge where people's max heart rate is and what range people's heart rate is when they're doing sessions. That, and that's all well and good. But, Essentially, it's just getting your, your breathing going, getting your blood pumping, firing, you know, for 30 to 45 minutes, and that's the important part of it. And I'd, I'd aim to do this maybe twice a week. So we've got two, strength training two to three times a week, hit training two times a week. Next one is speed training. Now, I don't mean like going to the flex track and running 100 meters. You know, speed training is important because it helps with, you know, longevity, you know, like, so if, if we got client, you know, we all, as we all get older, People think you lose strength, people think you lose fitness, but what you lose is power. The ability to move fast, to, to catch yourself, your, your coordination, your reaction time, you know, it, you know, improving your speed and improving your power, you know, prevents falls. Or if you do fall, you maybe, you're not getting injured as bad, or you can catch yourself, or you can move your body quicker, or you can react to things quicker. You know, you're not breaking hips, breaking joints, falling and damaging knees and doing shoulders. And, you know, that's why we do power work, because it, it, it it's everyday sort of tasks, lifting kids up and not putting your back out. That's why strength training and, and especially power training is very important. And this could be done through things like doing med ball work, slams, rotational stuff, doing ropes, could be short bursts and cardio, could be fast feet on the spot. You know, that's why we do a bit of this within most sessions as well, because um, as we all get older, we all lose power. So it's either use it or lose it, essentially with power. Okay, next one I would say is cardio. Okay, so cardio, we aim to do this one, twice a week. So I do realize this is very difficult to make fit and you might think eight workouts, seven days, how do I fit this in, Dan? I'm already busy, I'm already stressed. I've got my own business, so I've got busy in my career, I've got three kids at home. How am I expected to fit this into my, my week? 
Now, this is obviously, there's a bit of planning, there's a bit of time management in there. That's a separate topic completely, and that's maybe a, a different thing you need to think about. But in terms of, if you're maybe training or working out or going to the gym or, or coming to DMLE, and you're already coming three, four times a week, or maybe even twice a week, then there's always a way you can fit these in. Your cardio could be your rest days. Your cardio could be a Saturday, Sunday, you go for an hour, hour and 30 minute walk with a dog. And that's your cardio taken care of for those two days. Your cardio in our days could be just a 20, 30 minute walk and just get your seven to 10,000 steps in. But with your speed work, with your hip work, your strength work, it's just, just making sure that I think people get too wrapped up with what you enjoy. You know, you, you like the feeling of being tired, being burst, you know, you can't do any more. And that's a sort of maybe something that's maybe more hit oriented. Some people love weights, you know, the feeling of like, you know, increasing muscle size or feeling stronger, the, you know, the buzz you get off lifting a, a, a bigger number than the week before, and people get attached to that modality. Or there's maybe um, cardio, people just love running, love cycling, and do it for long periods of time for two, three hours. But the, the, the real sweet spot is combining all these together to be your inner athlete, to be the, the strongest, the fittest, the fastest, the most powerful, Whatever you are, wherever you are, you know, we've got staff here in, in their uh, uh, late teens, early 20s that will do this sort of stuff. I'm in my 30s. I know this was work for me from being um, working in professional sport as a football player to now. This is how I look, look after my body. And my clients here range from the 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s to their 70s. And they'll all do this sort of stuff within their week, all at a different pace and all at their own maximum, all doing, it, all doing what they're comfortable doing within their own parameters. But it's, how you, it's what you do. Um, and, and it's, having, it's that, that mindset of just um, planning it and doing it. However, however fast you do it or however strong you are, it's just doing it, okay? So that's, I realize that's a, a, quite a complex topic and if it's a topic you maybe will ask or speak more about if you're a member, pull me aside in the gym and explain to me how I fit this into the week. Um, you know, for example, in the, in the gym, we'll have clients that maybe do power hour and then a session. That's how you do that, for example. Um, but yeah, if you're not in the gym and you have any questions and you're not too sure that miss it, this makes any sense, I'm, I'd be happy to reach out and speak to you about it and, and explain how you can fit it into your week. Okay, hope that makes sense. Bye-bye.